And I, f I wrote one story. Um, it actually, we had to, we had to bring stories into class. They would be Xerox, so everyone in class, there would be about 12 people in class, would get one, they'd go home during the week, read it, would come into class and discuss it. So you had 12 people very carefully going over your work. And um, I didn't have a story. I mean, I was working on a story. And then I had a fever, actually. I had a cold. And you know that sort of delirious way you have these sort of strange dreams, and they're very vivid. And it wasn't really a dream I had, but I was remembering something sort of stuck in my mind about uh, this sort of picture of, of children on a February sort of late afternoon. It's getting dark outside, and there aren't many lights on in the house, and they're all hiding in this closet with their mother. And I sort of thought that that image meant something to me. But I thought, well, I've got to write a whole story. Uh, I've got to set the whole situation and scene in order for someone else to understand what that means. Because in and of itself, it really doesn't mean anything. So, so that's sort of how the, the story evolved. And it was the first time that I sort of broke into the world that was much more personal to me, which had to do with my own childhood and my own background. So I used the elements that were very, very close to me. And then suddenly, you know, different other scenes sort of occurred to me, and I started to write other stories sort of around that scene. And in Thanksgiving Day, it was a, a grandfather at the head of a table at Thanksgiving suddenly losing his marbles, basically. And in uh, The Navigator, it was the sort of power of the sound that a Ear top can have just going off. So that's usually how most of the stories I, I write sort of evolve.